Today on The Story Till Now, we're talking all about safe winching and recovery with Richard from Freedom Recovery Gear. He's gonna show us some of the proper gear we should be using, how to properly rig up our lines, and get the Gladiator all equipped with everything we're gonna need for some of the crazy adventures we go on. Brought to you in part by Epic Adventure Outfitters. All right guys, so this is Richard from Freedom Recovery Gear. He just stopped by to show us how to set up our winch properly, show us some of his gear. Uh, right now we just started talking about recovery straps. Now this is a, a strap that I found on the ground on a trail about four years ago. I've been using it ever since. The story that you told me yesterday was, was pretty horrific and the strap <laughs> isn't quite as bad as, as you made it sound. But there are a couple points of concern. When you have a strap that has damage like that, it's ready to retire it. Because this is a woven piece, and when it fails in one point, it's just catastrophic. Nylon straps and polyester straps are a little bit different. Um, polyester straps have no stretch to them. Nylon stra straps have a little bit of stretch. So a recovery strap is typically nylon, and will have about eight to 12% stretch. So when you pull on it, it has that bungee effect that you've heard about. This does not have that. This this probably does not have it. It doesn't have a label on it, so we don't know what it is. It's not necessarily safe to use. General rule of thumb, if a strap is in good condition, nylon or polyester, it's about 10,000 pounds of strength per inch. And you can see this is a single layer of strap. Mm -hmm. So this would have maximum 20,000 pounds of breaking strength. This is a three inch strap. This is from the lifting industry. Very good quality, made in Canada. And you can see this one is double thickness. Right. So it makes it virtually twice as strong. Up here on the left hand side, it says 8,800 pounds working load limit. So if I'm holding the strap and pulling it like this, this is saying the maximum you wanna pull on this strap in a lifting scenario is 8,800 pounds. But if you change the configuration and you use it like a tree strap where you double, then you go to 17,600 pounds working load limit. This one is designed for a tree for a winching anchor. And because you have a 12,000 pound winch and you sometimes use a pulley block, you need to make sure that you're a 50,000 pound breaking strength strap or better. So this one says 17,600 pounds in the basket form. You can see the little symbol there. But what this doesn't say on this strap is that working load limit for the braking strength is five times that. So it would take almost 90,000 pounds of force to break, <laughs> to break this strap. <laughs> right. So we know this is a safe strap. Okay. So what we have set up here, Sean, is a double line pull. So you can see that we have two lines, a line coming off of the winch and a line going back to the vehicle. So two lines. So in this scenario, each one of these lines can exert one pull of the winch. So for this equation, let's say we have a 10,000 pound winch. So this rope can only see at maximum 10,000 pounds of load, but you have a second rope attached to your vehicle as well. So you have one pull here and you have one pull here. Each one of those can potentially be one pull of the winch, 10,000 plus 10,000 is potentially 20,000. What you have to remember is when you introduce a pulley block, like we've got here, into the equation, whatever you have on one side of the pulley block, you have the same weight on the other side. So if we've got 20,000 pounds on this side, all our gear on the other side has to be able to handle the 20,000. So it needs to be at least double that. When we look at our rigging, we've got our pulley block. Whatever we have on one side of our pulley block for force, we have on the other side. So we have two lines on this side. If we used the same size line, a single on this side, it's a possible point of failure. And so we don't want that. 
if we're using a winch line extension, if we fold it in half and it's the same size as our primary one, that gives us a strength. In this case, we're using a light link double D soft shackle, which is a breaking strength of 45,000 pounds. So more than double what the one side of our pulley is. And we're using a, a tree strap that has more than 40,000 pounds breaking strength. So we're trying to achieve a two to one safety factor nice. and that keeps us safe. We're looking at your winch line and you've had a pretty adventurous <laughs> time over the last year and you've put yourself through a lot of winches and stuff. And you can see that there's a lot of wear and tear on this, win this winch line. You can see the little um, fibers and that starting to come off. So we're looking at starting a new season for you. And so I've brought you a Freedom Recovery Gear um, Made in Canada Synthetic Winch Rope. This is a Dyneema SK78 fiber. It's one of the premium fibers that's out there and will give you one of the strongest winch lines available uh, for the type of use that we're doing. It's got a, a label on it with our name and the rating on it. It's a minimum break strength of 20,000 pounds. So this will give you a really good life. Also, you can see the color, the neon orange, bright visible colors. So when you're out there winching, you can see the winch line and you can avoid the winch line. So we're gonna pull the winch cable off here and we're gonna install this new Freedom Recovery Gear winch line for you. And it's always a good idea to pull your winch, off, winch line off by hand and not power it out because when you power out your winch, you create heat in the drum and the brake and that transfers to the rope and that's not good for most ropes. Whoa. We've got a little aluminum tab here with a screw in it. And as you can see, as we were pulling it out, this is not designed for any load at all. Zero. <laughs> yeah. This is to keep the winch rope from slipping. We're gonna attach our winch line a little bit differently through a constrictor knot, and it will be actually much stronger. So one of the things that we do different than a lot of manufacturers is you see I've got black rope on this end of my winch line. This is actually quite a different rope. This is called Vectran. It has a much different heat resistance to the orange rope. So this is designed to take twice as much heat as the colored rope. And so this is really good for your base wrap of your drum. Its melting point is 300 degrees Celsius. So whatever your, your winch can put out, um, this will protect the rope and make it much safer. Now, as soon as we, we wrap this with the winch line and we put a bunch of wraps on there and you pull on this, that will tighten down on the tail and that rope will never move. We've got the, the basic gated hook that comes with most winches. Uh, these gates are very, very light and quite often get damaged. You can see this one's a little bit damaged. I prefer equipment from the rigging industry. So we've got a, a safety hook here and you can see it says manufacturer's name. 10 stands for the sides, so it's 10 millimeters, three eighths, and it's a grade 80. So this is a lifting rated hook and is rated to 7,700 pounds lifting capacity overhead. So this is strong. Also, it's a safety hook. So there's a, there's a little mechanism on the end here. And when you tension this and you put a load on this hook, it cannot open. So it's a very safe hook. This is a half link attachment. So you can see you can take this hook and you can add it to any, any thimble at any time. And you see how it interlocks. You take this pin and if we get a hammer, in a second um, and we hammer that in and there's a little if you get really close in here to this little fixture you can see there's an arrow so if I take that and I find the arrow which I just lost and I put that in line like that and I hammer that pin in that is a secure connection and if I hammer it out in the direction of the arrow I can reuse this pin in this in this barrel. This is sometimes referred to a hammer lock because once you put the pin in, you can take it.
that is now a lifting rated secure connection to 7,700 pounds. Um, and so that has a braking strength far in excess of what the winch line is. So this is a very strong hook. One thing I noticed about this line is that it seems to be shorter than the one that we took off. Is that intentional? Yes, it is. So on this particular winch, um, it had 88 feet of line from the factory. 100 feet is common on most winches. When I make a winch line, I typically make a 65 foot winch line. And the reason is every layer of rope on your winch gives you about a 50, 15, 15, percent decrease in capacity. So if you have two more layers of winch rope on your winch than we have right now, you have about 30% less capacity for your winch. So having a 65 foot winch line means that you can pull it off your drum farther. And if you get down to the exposed drum, so you can see the metal part of the drum, that's when your winch is working at its capacity. Mm -hmm. So if you can't see the bare metal drum of your winch, your winch is not pulling at 12,000 pounds capacity. And so by having a shorter winch line, you get down there faster and you gain mechanical advantage. And if, you know, for you guys to relate, who out there has put bigger tires on their vehicle and realized how much less power they have? Right. Okay. Without re-gearing, you don't get the, the mechanical advantage back. And it's the same with winching. So more power. More shorter, power. Shorter rope, more power, and then we throw an extension on if we need more length. Yeah, there's an extension right there. Grab that one. This? Yep. So we've got, uh, we've brought you a bright yellow 50 foot 7 16 uh, winch line extension here. And you can see this is rated a little bit lower at 19,000 pounds than the winch line. And this is what you can use if you need to get that full pull out of your winch in a single line or even if you need to use a double line pull. It's very quick to, to wrap up when you're done because you just unhook it and it just takes a, a minute to do. So I brought this along so that you've awesome. got maximum Thank you. capacity for, for winching. So, and then to connect this, we just hook this onto the hook and hook the other end onto a shackle. Yep. And then we've got an extra 50, six, 50, 50, 50 feet. feet. So in the end, we end up with more length than the original yep. rope. So right now, if you went to use, you could reach, um, you're about 105 feet with the extension that you can winch. And so that gives you all the, all the advantage you want. Um, you've got your standard screw pin bow shackle, which is the screw pin and the bow shackle, also called an anchor shackle. This comes from the rigging industry. This is a made in the USA hard shackle, galvanized, really strong, six to one, Time safety factor and this is this is an extremely strong one this is six and a half tons rated which is much stronger than your typical one so if you have an attachment point and we're going to go down to the bumper here and you've got a hard attachment point a screw pin bow shackle is excellent for an attachment point like that okay you've got metal on metal and you're not going to have a point of failure you have the knot up and the noose goes over the knot, okay? And then you can pull and tighten it, and that's how you want it tensioned. That is, that is potentially a bad way to tension it. So if you look at the package when you get it, there's a photo of it rigged up, and you want the knot going up. Now, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna use this in there. Because this has a sharp, sharp edge, this is bad. You can damage it, you can um, cut it, and you can have failure. If failure is bad. Failure is bad. You wanna use them on soft edges. So that is perfectly accept acceptable. And I just hang these off the, the headrest of my vehicle so they're always handy. That's a good idea. You know, one of the things that you'll notice about ours is how much room is in here. When you take the noose over the knot, it gets a little bit smaller. There's a lot of soft shackles out there that are about this size. And by the time you take the noose over the knot, you've got barely enough room for your rigging. So make sure that you're getting one that's nine or 10 inches. So the other way that you can use these is a lot of people have two bumpers and they may not have an attachment point like a, 
recovery point. This can be used around. Uh, oh, you can put it around the tube. A tube. So, like for example, you could throw it around the bull bar here. So, you want to make sure that your whatever you're attaching to is strong. So, in this particular case, you wouldn't want to attach up here because you would just damage it. But if you've got multiple points intersecting, like some more complicated tube bumpers, right? You can use this around there. We also make a longer one that you could use around a frame and different other uh, sort of functions. But you wanna use these on soft edges. If you use this with a recovery rope, you can use it in between two extensions to lengthen extensions. This, if you ever have a failure, this weighs about 200 grams, less than half a pound versus a hard shackle is about 2.3 pounds. And so this as a flying object is much more preferable to this yeah because you always have you always have potential failure depending on what you do there's so many different factors but if you inspect your gear regularly and you make sure you don't use damaged gear and you use best practices you'll keep yourself as safe as possible okay so we got the brand new winch line installed new heavy duty hook and shackles we also got this is a 60 foot? 50 foot. 50 foot extension line so that we can uh, pull further if we need to. So with, with the extension line in the winch, you're about 105 foot. 105 foot, perfect. Yep. We've also got some soft shackles here that we're gonna use for our rigging. Yep. Much safer than uh, metal shackles and heavy duty tree strap, all made here in Canada from Freedom Recovery. And for you guys, if you check the link in the description, 10% off anything you order, freedomrecoverygear.com. Link in the description. Cool. Thanks a lot, Richard. Appreciate you coming out and uh, talking to us about recovery stuff. It's been a pleasure and I can't wait to come back. Thank you. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much to Richard from Freedom Recovery Gear for coming by and hooking us up with a bunch of gear, showing us some techniques. If you guys want to see more videos like this or if you have any questions about what we talked about here today, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I try to answer all the comments I can. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It really helps us grow the channel. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you on Monday with another video. If you'd like to support by rocking some of our merch, stickers and key tags are now on sale at dirtyanddangerous.com. My name's Sean, and this has been the story till now. 